crafters and welcome to Creative Moments by G. It's Technique Tuesday and today we're actually going to use bleach on our card. We use bleach when we want to create a vintage distressed look on our background. So let's head down to the crafting table and let's get started. We are going to use a side fold card and I want to remind you all the measurements will be listed over on creativemomentsbyg.com. So we're not going to use our bleach directly onto our base card. We've actually selected a mat and we've cut this mat to be a second mat. So it has a different size to it and makes it a little smaller. But let's talk about using our Clorox. Now we're using bleach and you want to make sure you put it in a container maybe that's not paper that can really contain the bleach and that your room is has a lot of open space because it can be a very strong smell. And you also want to remember to grab you a paintbrush that has a really nice tip to it and that allows you not to put your bleach all over the card but to really get those fine areas that you want to use. Also, don't use water-based ink because this is very liquidy and it will get rid of your outline of your image. Now something else you can do is you can emboss your image. So if you want to go ahead and do some wet embossing that will also contain the bleach. But for today's purpose, we are going to stamp with Memento and that will keep our image outline. Now, because I want to stamp around it in flowers, I'm going to use my Stamparatus or whatever stamping tool you have and I'm going to stamp my sentiment first because I want a nice dark sentiment and I am stamping on colored paper. So that's going to lighten it up. So I have this beautiful sentiment that I want and I'm going to put my magnets on to hold it in place and I'm going to just get it right about centered on one side. Okay, now look at that. That's nice and dark and I was really only able to do that because I put it in my stamping tool. Now I am going to use some repositional tape and just go ahead and put it down on this paper. And you want to make sure and have some paper laid down because you don't want your bleach to get on your table. So now I'm going to bring in some stamps. This flower right here has a perfect outline and it allows me to put the bleach inside this area and lift that color. So let's go ahead and get my flower stamped. Now I'm going to bring in some leaves and make sure that you stay with this because we're going to create two more cards but I already have the color lifted using my bleach and we're just going to put them together. Okay, and now we're going to begin lifting our color. So we're just dipping it into our solution and then just kind of taking the excess off the side. Now, if you want to, you can always bring in your heat gun and dry this much faster. And that allows you to see exactly where you need to lift some more color. But it really gives it that vintage distressed look. Now, 
Now, if you have some areas that bleach too much, you can always come in with a very soft marker and just kind of give you a little more definition. Now we're going to bring in some other cards that we already use this method to give it a distressed look. Now look at that. That is so pretty and it really gives it a vintage look. So let's go ahead and put this on a card and see how it looks. So we're going to double mat it. This is a fun technique that you can really create a unique background to where it looks like it's distressed or maybe you've even used some white ink to stamp on your mat. Now we went ahead and we stamped our sentiment. We're just going to put that right here to the side. And look at this, so pretty. Now let's go ahead and show you another one that we created. Look at this. Those almost look like cherry blossoms that we have stamped onto our card, but we actually use the bleach and this technique we just decided to continue to go over and over the flower and really lift all that color and create that white flower. So let's get that added. I'm gonna go ahead and add the sentiment on the inside. And because we cut this down to be a second mat, we went ahead and saved our little strips and we are going to just put them right on the inside of our card. And this is always a fun idea to really use those strips that you cut off of your mat. Just add some decoration to the inside of your card. Now we're going to add a white mat just to really make it pop. And we have added our sentiment again, just on some double strips to really make it pop as well with some dimensionals. And now on this purple one, we decided to add our two little strips right here. And we're just gonna add this to the inside of our card. Now let's bring back in the one that we're working on and look at this. You see how it lifted? So pretty. Now we are gonna put this on some Calypso Coral base card with a black mat behind it. This is a great technique to use. When you want just a little something, it creates that vintage looking background that really, unless you can stamp it in white, you're just not going to be able to get this look. Okay. So we would love for you to take a moment, leave a comment, and let us know which of those is your favorite. We have one more card to show you. And look at this one. We created this card on some beautiful crushed curry and lifted the color. It's just like this one, but we use Bermuda Bay. I, I just don't know which one I like better. So take a moment, leave a comment, and let us know. What do you think about this technique using your bleach to lift the color from your card to create that vintage distressed look well thank you so much for spending your time with us we hope that you enjoyed our technique tuesday and that you give it a try remember give us a thumbs up we sure would appreciate it and check us out on all our other social media 
Instagram and Pinterest for more inspiration. Go out, make it a fantastic day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.